the 64 tetrahedron grid kind of bloomed in to a whole new understanding of the structure of the vacuum. It was exactly what I needed. It had an equilibrium at the center that was actually surrounded by another equilibrium. And you could visualize this structure growing in perfect fractal octaves from infinitely big to infinitely small. I had not only my polarities producing the equilibrium and singularity, but as it did, it produced fractal structures that could be scaled from infinitely big to infinitely small. I felt I had found something very profound. It was a true three-dimensional fractal structure, and it grew in perfect octaves. I could see that this metric could actually be built in a completely different way as well. It could be built out of eight star tetrahedron, each made out of eight tetrahedron each. The eight star tetrahedron coming together produce the 64 tetrahedron grid. Eight star tetrahedron are built by eight tetrahedron have their tetrahedron pointing out radiating out and when they come together they produce the vector equilibrium in the middle which is a tetrahedron pointing in so i had now both of the side of the event horizon that produced the boundary condition the radiative side and the contractive side of the event horizon i thought this is it i found it and I got very, very excited. I thought, this has all of the elements necessary for me to be able to map out and describe the structure of the vacuum. The key to the knowledge necessary to understand creation.